first trend is 2016 will be a year all about the customer journey. More and more businesses are realizing that it's not just important to uh, put social media into marketing's basket or put it in corporate communication. You really have to look at a whole customer journey. How does someone go from a stranger to getting to know about your business to actually turning into a customer or client? What does that journey look like? And to that end, where does marketing fit in at each point in that decision-making process? So, ching, there's my first trend for you. Today's trend, two of 12, is the rise of influencer marketing. Um, look for it, count on it. Companies are becoming savvy to the fact that to reach a broader audience, they can't just go through TV and traditional mediums. They have to look at influencers who already have created clout within certain communities or already looked at as the go-to experts. Trend number three for 2016 is the importance of email marketing. Email marketing is not dead. So I'm really excited to show you some of the um newer stuff that I've been working on in the past couple of years about where things are going and it's been fundamentally driven by this idea that the customer that we sort of deal with every day from brands and businesses that we work with has really changed and I don't think anybody would disagree with that. The real winners of today in content have three components to them. They're image based, so it's image or video, right, picture video, it's mobile and it's highly social. Think about this. Think about how excited everyone is about, I'm periscoping this and I'm doing all that. What is Periscope? Well, it's a place where brands can go to push things out into the world that happen live, but are completely impermanent. They're not then taking that and turning it into a YouTube video. It's a moment in time and it's gone. Most brands are failing at it because they're not doing what I call priming the Periscope pump. They're not letting people know over a series of time that in this moment, at this time, we will have this big live event. To me, Periscope is the ultimate, it's the ultimate platform to do digital experience. And we'll get there. I think we'll inevitably get there. But right now, it's a sort of off the cuff, I'm on Periscope, check me out. But this is very much a place where brands are living and breathing in these three little nuanced changes that I'm just sort of getting my head around. And my guess is, is that if you can take and understand this new consumer that is changing at a very rapid pace through these little nuanced changes, you can start doing fundamentally amazing things that we were absolutely never able to do before. The biggest thing that's changed in the last decade is the modern buyer. The modern buyer is digitally driven, starting their search on the web, doing more of their research digitally without engaging with a sales professional. The modern buyer is socially connected. The modern buyer is mobile with multiple devices, which means the modern buyer is empowered empowered with nearly unlimited access to not only information, but to people. The buyer has transformed, sales needs to adapt. You are what you publish on the web, you are what you tweet, you are what you share. And the modern buyer is getting educated by consuming content. And you want, as a sales professional, you want to be a resource to that buyer. You want to be visible and relevant to the buyer where the buyer's learning, in particular in the early stages of the buying process. What's really important about the millennials, a lot of things about them that are universally true that just can't be denied anymore. One is that branding efforts to get them to want something don't work. What works is friends talking to friends. What works is customers talking to future prospects. And this turns marketing upside down. It is a, there is a power shift that's going on. And the shift is not complete, not total, but it's going from the brand marketer to the customer. The customer is now in control for the first time in marketplace history since the good old days of the shop on Main Street well, that's a US cliche, but simpler times when the clerk behind the counter knew every customer. Millennials in particular, and the rest of us are following and saying, listen to what I say I want and stop telling me what you think I want, and maybe we can do a deal. If you want my data, that's great. What will you give me for my data? Ultimately, what I'm talking about is pinpoint marketing. Pinpoint marketing is the ability to understand every customer on a global basis 
who they are, where they are, and you can predict what they want. This is very powerful, and it doesn't take putting any messages at all in front of them. Here you go, our five countdown. Number one, messaging platforms are gonna trump broadcast social networks. You know what, it's expected that these messaging platforms will expand from about two and a half billion users to 3.6 billion users. The rise of customer experience is incredible and storytelling is the key to an effective customer experience. In fact, they say, if you tell me the facts, I'll believe, but if you tell me a story, it will live in my life and my heart forever. Immersive experiences will help deeply connect these end users. And storytelling, that's a huge part of this and will be a shift in content marketing that will focus more on that one-to-one -one human experience.